Hey, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're solving with proportions and we're also solving with direct variation. So let's read this word problem. Drew gets paid hourly at his job. If Drew gets $50 for a five hour shift, how much will he be paid for a seven hour shift? Find K and write an equation to solve this question. Okay, so this question is actually asking us to find K, which is the direct variation formula. So the direct variation formula is Y equals KX, where K is a constant that you're going to use, just like the slope of a line. Okay, so we have to figure out what we have and what we're trying to figure out. Okay, if he gets $50, he's paid $50 and he's working a five hour shift, which one is X and which one is Y? Well, the Y is dependent on X. So depending on how many hours he works, depends on how much money he's paid. So that means the hours he works is our independent variable, our X, and the output or what he's paid is dependent on the number of hours that he works. So it's Y. So I'm going to plug in 50 for Y. K is still K. And then 5 is our X or our dependent variable. Okay. Or our independent variable. Now let's solve for k. So we have 50 equals, and we typically put our variable behind our coefficient, so 5k. And then let's divide both sides by 5. So 10 is equal to k. So k is 10. So that's our constant. So now what's our equation? Well, to write the direct variation equation, all we do is plug in our value right here, the k that we find the constant. So we'll have y equals 10 x. That is our equation. Now we can use this equation to solve any number of hours that he works. But the question is asking us how much will he be paid for seven hours, for seven hour shift. So again, our shift, that is our independent variable. So we're going to plug it in for x and we're going to solve for the dependent variable or y. So that means I'm going to, he's going to make $70 because he's making $10 an hour. So for a seven hour shift, he makes $70. And that is our answer. Hope this video was helpful on solving direct variation problems.